Welcome back to the channel guys. So we said we had another product review we wanted to do for you, yeah. but we just got back from Moose Camp and check this check out. This out. Ah. Oh. I, I, oh. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Yes, success. That's awesome. So we got that video coming up for you. I'm editing that hopefully here this week and we'll put it out next week. Super excited to get that video out. But for this video, we're gonna review Blue Eddy's new EB55 500 watt solar generator. Yeah. So we got a package in the mail today. Vaughn went and picked it up. And this is from Blue Eddy. If you guys have been watching other channels, uh, they've been sending out some of their solar generators. We were lucky enough that they wanted to send us one to have it test out. So this is their 500 watt solar generator. Yeah, let's check and it out. From Blue Eddy, let's open it up. All right, 537 watts. Yep. The EB55. The EB55. Steel gray. All right. Seems like a nice package. Yes, it does. It's really nice. Yep, real simple solar, uh, real simple manual. So it's a nice big charging block. And then all the assorted cords. And, whoop, well, there's something else in there. It's a little. Oh, a wire management. You know, strap Velcro for strap. Velcro strap for wire management. Very nice. Well, I guess we can get to business here. This is the actual <laughs> generator. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's nice. I gotta say, it's a tight little, tight little pa <laughs> tight little package. What? Well, it's a tight little package. <laughs> uh, well, I gotta it's say, it's got charging stations. That's awesome. I mean, just the initial kind of re reaction here is it seems well made. Guys, so there's the front of it. All right, so yeah, this is our Blue Eddy EB55. Sweet. We'll go through it and use it for a bit, show you guys what we think, and we'll go through it more. But we just want to show you our unboxing. Initial reaction right now is, man, this thing, it's fairly lightweight. It's small. But man, it's... It's put together very nicely. It seems put together nicely. So we're gonna charge it up. We'll give you guys a review on it. All right, so this has a 537 watt hour premium LifePo 4 battery. The ultra stable LifePo 4 battery chemistry combines with the built-in battery management system. It creates multi layers of protection while offering the Blue Eddy EB55 solar generator, 2,500 plus charge cycles before reaching its 80% capacity. I mean, that LifePo 4 lithium ion battery <clears throat> is phenomenal. And the experience that we had in the field was, well, here, I have not charged this since the field. And we used it almost every day. We used it actually every day to charge camera batteries, cell phone batteries, GoPro batteries, my GPS batteries, and it is still at 60% charge. That's amazing. That is just crazy. Blue Eddie's getting it done, charging up all our batteries at Moose Camp. Doing good so far. We've got two different GoPros, chargers going on, camera batteries, cell phones. Cell phones on the wireless charger. We've got a cell phone plugged in. It's been doing great for two days so far. And look at that, still 100% battery. So awesome, Blue Eddie's doing great. So this new Blue Eddy EB55 also has a 400 watt input fast recharging. So what it's talking about is, you can see right there, it has inputs for solar, and it can input 200 watt solar, and it also has an input for either charging off of a generator a, or a car 12 volt system, and it can put 200 <clears throat> watts into this. So combined, that's what Blue Eddy can do is be able to combine these two to make 400 watts of charging capability to quickly charge this battery up to full capacity. Unbelievable that you can put 400 watts of charging capability into this little package right here. So it also has four, you can see here, four 110 volt or 700 watt AC outlets. So if you, <clears throat> what we're talking about is this section right here. So this has regular outlets and in this section, your, 
It has a 700 watt, if you can see right there, inverter. EB55 is considered Blue Eddy's 500 watt entry into the 500 watt segment of the industry. They have put the 700 watt inverter in here that they have in their bigger units, which is amazing, meaning you can pull more watts off of this and you can plug in more things for a 500 watt capacity battery. I have run stuff on this that did uh, trip the system, but uh, it's grinders, big tools. This little package right here, you're not gonna be grinding, you're not gonna be using cutters. What you can do and what we have done is charged our uh, cordless batteries, our DeWalt cordless batteries, our camera batteries, our laptops, everything we run, especially as a YouTuber and in today's market where you always have electronics with you, this is awesome for taking camping to be able to plug in things. It blew my mind what it ran. The only thing that tripped it that I ran on it was a four inch grinder. And of course that draws an immense amount of wattage and it ran it for a short period of time before tripping the system. So that 700 watt inverter is a huge plus. All right, so what comes with the Blue Eddy? Basically we get the Blue Eddy, we get the DC adapter for a car charging in the cigarette lighter type thing. And that all plugs into that port and yeah, right there. And then <clears throat> it also comes with the solar panel connections. Again, plugs into that port and solar panel, those connect right up to your solar panel. So there's your solar panel connections for charging. So it also comes with this huge power pack and this is to plug into a generator or into a normal wall outlet. Plugs into just regular old 110. So you can charge it at home, you can charge it with a generator and it plugs in obviously there. And like I said before, you can backpack these together to make 400 watts of charging. And it's super long lasting, like he said. So you could charge the power pack and the solar panels together for 400 watt total, and it recharged time of 3.2 hours basically. So a little over three hours, which is unheard of. Solar panels, it only takes 200 watt max. Blue Eddy does have their own solar panel pack, which will plug in here. We do not have that, but any 200 watt solar panel that takes the connections will charge this. We tried our panels, which is uh, 400 watts and it will not charge. So at least it didn't for us, it didn't work for us. So Blue Eddy does sell a, kit, uh, a solar panel pack that we do not have. Anyway, so you can double up. If you're gonna use just the car charging outlet, it, it could take up to six hours approximately to uh, charge. If you're on a 24 volt port, it, uh, you can cut that in half. Okay, Blue Eddy on the EB55 has what I'm referring to as zones. When we have the DC output here, we have a DC output here, and we have an AC output here, and our charging here. In order to activate the zone that you want to use to charge, you have to push and hold, and you'll see a green light comes on right there. That also energizes the screen for a few seconds so you can see what's going on. You plug your item in, and it should show you the wattage being pulled out of the Blue Eddy at the time of charging. The more things you have charging, the more things, the more amps or watts it's pulling out. So if you wanna, the screen will shut off after a few seconds. And if I wanna energize all of these zones, I can energize all of the zones. So everything's on, including the top zone up here, which if you look, is a wireless charging output of 15 watts. I can lay my phone on there, and there it is. It begins to charge. Obviously my phone's already 100% charged, so we'll take that off. Okay, so all the zones can be used at once. All inputs can be used at once, including the top, which it makes it to be 13 items can be plugged in at the same time and pulling out. So once the screen has turned off, if I wanna energize that screen again, I have to tap right there. Now it'll bring it back up and you can see what's happening here. I can see battery percentage remaining, watts input, watts output, and that is it. So if I want to turn a zone off, I push and hold and it turns it off. Push and hold and it turns it off. And it turns it off. So all zones are off. 
Well, my overall opinion of this is gr it's a great product and the reason I think it's a great product is because if you're living an off-grid lifestyle like we do, uh, a lot of times you need somewhere to charge stuff and you don't always have time to turn on a generator or even want to listen to a generator. Yeah, it's the noise. Yeah, the We noise. live with a generator a lot and it, and Vaughn, we were talking about earlier, it grinds on your brain. Yeah, it's it eats away at you after a while, day after day of running tools, running generators, that's it, that's it, that's it. So it's super silence. nice to be able to charge things in silence. This thing, uh, you know, when we're editing video, normally I have to run the generator, but this thing, I can just plug my uh, computer right into it mm -hmm. and it's quiet and it's I can edit my videos and all that stuff. But honestly, yeah, my, my personal opinion is it's great. Um, it has its pros and its cons. Yeah, it has some cons, and I'll get into that in a minute. But overall, I'd say it's great. We got, um, for what it's for, right? It's a 16 and a half pound unit. It's a box, but you can charge 13 things all at once. All at the same so, time. That's so if you've got lots of stuff going on when you're going camping, or if you're a prepper that wants to have some kind of an emergency backup source of power, I'm not saying crazy prepper. I mean, you could be a, you know preparing for anything. Even yeah. If, uh, down south and in, in weather events and all that stuff. So if you're somewhere that you think you might need power in an off grid or off power situation, this is great. Keep it charged up at home, take it with you camping, take it with you in the car, whatever you need, it charges a lot of stuff. And it lasts, and it lasts a lasts, long time. Yeah, it lasts a long time. Yeah. So that's our overall recommendations. You wanna know the negatives? Here's what I think are drawbacks. One, it's 16 and a half pounds and it's fairly sizable, right? It's 11 by eight by eight. All, it has a carry handle. It's kind of bulky. Yeah, it's kind of bulky, right? I mean, I'm not sitting, there, I'm not putting this under my arm and going, hey, let's, let's, let's all right, time to go. Let's I'm not gonna camping. carry it everywhere I go. If, if all you have to do is charge a cell phone, there's a lot of better options to just charge a cell phone. But if, like I said before, if you've got a lot of items to charge or you want it more battery power to run more things, this is it. The other drawback I find is the screen. Come on, Blue Eddie. We're literally in 2021. That screen is the most basic screen. So I'm gonna turn on the screen. Can you guys see that? All it shows you is how much battery life in a percentage, how many watts are being drawn out, and how many watts are going in when you're charging. Blue Eddie, come on. Why can't we get a hours or minutes to fail, right? How much time do I have left to use this item? Um, I don't know what's plugged in, what isn't plugged in. You could, any list of items that you want on that screen, I would like to see on the screen. More data, more data. We're, more info. <laughs> yeah, let's get some more info. That is very simple. The other thing is look at the screen. So in order to turn on these zones, right, you're going to push these buttons. So I'm going to push and hold. And there's a green light. I don't know if you guys can see that. The green light comes on to tell me that this zone is on, okay? Now with that, the screen comes on. But give it a few minutes here, or a few seconds, and the screen turns off. Okay, the screen turns off. So once you have the power button on, so this zone is on right now, but the screen turned off. I guess it's a power saving feature. So in order to re-energize the screen, I wanna see what's going on with the screen, I gotta tap this again. So I tap it, and it comes on, right? Great. So it, what I found a problem is that when I tap it to turn it on, oh crud, I just turned the zone off. So now I'm charging my cell phone, I got my laptop charging, I push the button, I wanna see what's going on with the battery. Oh, there it is, good. Push it again, oh man, it turned it off. It's annoying. Or they thought they were doing it right by being, a, it's, you're supposed to push and hold to turn the zone on or off and tap to turn the screen on. But I'll be honest with you, I guess maybe I got fat fingers. I don't know, but I kept turning on. I kept turning the zones off. So that's a negative to me. Uh, and then I personally think this flashlight thing or this light thing back here is a is a waste of space. Uh, everything else though, thumbs yeah, up, Blue Eddie. Great I, job. Yeah, I think it's a great product, guys. I'm gonna put a link down below for the EB55 Blue Eddie's EB55. It has a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter. It surges to 1400 watts. I, I beat it up. I literally beat it up Yep. in the Alaska bush and it's still ticking. I mean, it is not clean anymore. It's got, you can no, kind of see, it's, a dirty. it's been used. <laughs> but 
the uh, code is going to be EB5550. It'll give you $50 off at yeah, the purchase of just the EB55. He'll put that in the link for this video. Yeah, I'll tag it in the link below. But you get $50 off. That's not too shabby. Not bad. And uh, if you're looking for a solar generator, this is one I, I recommend. Yeah. It's, it's uh, done me well. So, guys, thanks for watching. We will. See you on see the next one. See you on the one. next one. <laughs>